<sighs> Just woke up. Um, oh, what's this? I think it's the 1.6 update. That was really cheesy, I'm sorry. Okay, basically in this video, I'm going to be going through all the updates. Um, this is actually a pre-release at the time, but probably by the time I post this video, it'll probably be either the day before <coughs> or the day that it comes out. So that is the 1st of July, 2013. So hopefully you'll, I know, come for your update, you go, oh, there's an update. Yay, horses, carpets, coal. That's uh, just a few things that's been added. Um, and then you'll want to know how to do everything. Right, carpet. These are the c new carpets. They only sort of... You see, they're just destroyed really, really simply. But they don't like... They're like snow blocks, so you can walk around them. But obviously you can't pile them up, and you can jump on top of them, but you can't walk like through them like snow. But they're as thin as snow, at least. To craft them, you make you have two pieces of wool, normal wool, any colour. Every colour has a carpet, and you get three, three um, carpet, three carpets for that, and you can put them down on your floor. It works over, um, <coughs> it works over like a hole, but um, you obviously you it can't be like snow where it's hidden and you jump down into the hole it's literally just to cover up a hole or something um yeah that's how to craft them the next new block is the coal block it's exactly the same as an iron a gold a diamond block something like that so it's nine coal and you get one coal block and the coal blocks look like this and obviously you'd have to destroy them with the pickaxe but it, I think it's good for extra storage if you've got a lot of coal which I know some people do and you can just stack them like that it's great that they started that off okay next up is the hardened clay which is my new favourite block other than carpets I love the carpets because it's such a good idea um, these obviously to make clay like this you have to do clay in a four shape um, yeah, so a four, so, I don't know, one sec, so, I can never remember where this is, I'm sure I did a crafting thing somewhere, but, put that there, and you do it in a shape like this, and then if you heat it up in the furnace, it will turn to hardened clay which is actually you can that's it buildable you can build it into materials see like that and obviously you'd have to do it with a pickaxe see clay just breaks up into four pieces okay but to make stained clay you put um eight pieces of hardened clay around and then put the color dye in the middle color dye in the middle and you get eight pieces of stained clay which is pretty good to make this colour clay, which is white stained clay. Obviously, you have the white dye, which is bone meal, orange, magneta, light blue, yellow. Or they call it sun sunflower yellow or something. When you craft it, it actually says the proper thing, which is great. Um, lime green or light green, because the wool is called light green, and the dye is called light green, but that's called lime green. Blue, purple. I love the purple because it's kind of like purpley pink. Uh, I don't see much difference between the magneta and the purple. There's a slight tinge, but I think that looks more purple than that. But anyway, cyan, light grey, grey, pink. I really like the pink as well. Um, brown, green, red, and black. And that's the normal one. That's not dyed at all. Um, but I really like this piece because you can make sort of exotic looking ones rather than this I would create this whole village again with that kind of blocks it's the, the floor would say the same but yeah um, the next block is the straw 
block. It's exactly like the coal, the iron, the gold, the diamond, the redstone. Nine straw makes one hay straw bale, hay bale, hay bale makes one hay bale. These hay bales are important for the next stage, although I'm a bit confused because it doesn't seem to work that well. Um, I need to do a bit more testing, and obviously you can, guys, you can do that yourselves when the update comes out, or you can pre-download if you really want to, because there's a new launcher as well with the, um, I'll show you a picture of that in a minute, or, or the, in the, at the end of the video, or now, I don't know, and um, there's a new launcher and this came with it, so that's why I decided to do it, because mods don't normally work with, mods and pre-releases don't normally work with my Minecraft. But um, yeah, they're very important for the horses, but they're good. They you can build with them as well. Um, the last, the obvious item, it's called the horse update. So obviously you've got horses. Um, these four are tamed. This is a very fetching guy with a um, diamond armor and a saddle. Diamond, unfortunately, you can't craft either of those. They are all needed. They are all, you can only get them in dungeons. You can't actually get them anywhere else. Um, iron armor is there. And this is gold. And, oh, I, d I, d I do have a donkey. Oh, I know, so. Eh. And to ride them, you right click. And if you press E, you can get to, like, you can take off that armor, that you can take off the saddle but I'm going to keep them on. If you take off the saddle, they you can't control them. See? Um, but if you do, then... See that? I've got a lead on. A lead on? Oh, a lead on. I've got a lead on my horse. A lead? You need to press... Oh, yeah, you need to press left shift to get off. It tells you that when you get on. Please left shift. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. These leads keep them on. And they can be used for any animal. I've tried it with bats, I've tried it with chickens, I've tried it with every animal. I haven't tried it with like, I haven't tried it with the hostile mobs. Obviously like creepers and stuff, but I've tried it with everything else. So you could always have a pet creeper if you really wanted to. But um, and you can like las, I, I call it a lasso or a lead, on them onto her fence post. I think that works in other brick as well, but I haven't checked. Um. But yeah, it's it's so yeah. The um when you are in creative, it doesn't show any of your hearts. But this horse has quite a few hearts. I really don't want to count them. I think he has not uh nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think he has twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He has thirteen hearts. Um, the armor. I'm not really sure what the armor does. I think it makes your health, his health go down. Uh, I mean, like, be better. I'm not really sure. To, uh, this guy has got a really good talent. He can jump. If you hold down the space bar, you can see this bar at the bottom moving. And you can jump. If you get to the orange, you jump the highest. If you get just a little bit don't jump as high. That's the highest. You can also jump, see like that with he can jump over fence posts, but he automatically jumps over one block high things. Boop. But yeah, um, he can, some horses can go, depending on how strong they are, they can go jump from one to about three blocks high. I haven't ever got any higher than that. Um, but some horses, obviously, they're not as powerful. This guy's not as powerful. He might not jump as high. Oh, no, he's got right. But I know the donkeys and mules don't jump as high. And, right, next one we're going to do the donkey. This is this is the donkey. He looks a little different. He's got little ears poking out, and his, his tail's a bit, sort of, lower. And he's obviously a different colour. Um, and he's got a chest in his butt. To access the chest, you have to get on him. And then you press E, and then, see, I've, got, I've put all my stuff in here. And you can saddle him and unsaddle him as well. You can't put armour on donkeys, though. He doesn't have very much health. See, I've put all my stuff in. He doesn't have very much health. He's only got... 
eight hearts and he's very slow sorry I'll just repeat what I was saying um yeah he obviously doesn't have much health and he's very slow and he can only jump about oh we did it first time this time um he can only jump about maybe two blocks high I haven't got him to do any higher than that he just won't go any higher than that but yeah I really like him he's quite a good little donkey right next I think I'm gonna go to horse taming uh, to tame a horse, you need to make sure you have nothing in your hand. I've got nothing in my hand. And right click him. He will try to buck you off like he just did me. This guy's got a nice amount of health. I'm And you need to keep on going until he he's been. They can take any time. First horse I did. Um, first horse that I tried to tame, first time he didn't butt me off, no, second time, he butt me off once and then he got tamed. He was tamed. This guy's taking a little longer. But you'll know when he's tamed because, ah, you see all these hearts just popped up, that means he's tamed. Now you can press the E button and put his saddle on. There's a glitch, if you see in the background, um, you go upside down. Um, but when you press E again, then you're not upside down. See? They might fix that bug by the time the update's out, or they might keep that, because uh, they don't notice the bug. But, yeah, that's the bug that's there. Um, now your horse is tamed. You can ride it around. You can jump. This guy's quite good. You can jump over. Um, yeah, so he is quite a good horse. Right, I'm going to get him to get me over. Hey, smart horse. Um, right, the f next bit we're going to do is breeding horses. I've tamed these two. I've put saddles on both of them. Um, we're going to tame these two. The baby normally takes the skin of one of the adults or... I don't know, It's I'm not sure what the ratio is. But I just, these two horses are really nice. There's about 35 different skins, I think, including the mules and the donkeys. Um, but there's tons of different skins, and they're all. I really like that's my favourite one, I think. Maybe the white one. I keep getting white ones. Completely. Um, I just forgot to mention that they always spawn in plains biomes. Um. I have found a couple in a plains biome. They usually, if they spawn, they usually spawn in packs. And they usually have the same skin. Um, I haven't really found any... I have found the odd one or two. But, yeah, they won't They won't spawn in here at all. They're like the plains biome. Right, to breed them... Uh, I'm... I uh, know, I'm a bit confused. The wiki said you could breed them using wheat. But my horses just don't like the wheat. I've tried... Like, this one sec. Yeah. I've tried to um, breed them with just normal, normal wheat. One sec. I've tried to just breed them with normal wheat, but they just don't like it. They hate it. See, they just don't. They won't heat it. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I have to. Wait till it opens its mouth. Nope, he didn't like it. So, um, at the moment, the only way that I've found that you can breed the animals is by feeding them golden apples. Just the normal kind, not the shiny kind. I think they like the shiny kind as well. But they'll, if they like it, see, he's in love, he's in love. Both people, and suddenly a baby will pop out. He's obviously taken the skin of this little guy, and he's tiny. The, if you leave it go, to go naturally, it takes about 20 minutes to grow up but you can accelerate the growth if you feed them apples he's gonna grow up a bit more I think he's fully grown he does take a lot of apples I think he's fully grown now you can feed still feed an apple he'll still keep eating apples unless he's got a saddle on maybe you have to take off the saddle and breathe them. Ooh. Brain. 
No, he won't. He won't do it this time. Cause right, let's see. I'm gonna see whether I can breed my horses. This had a brainwave. Um, I don't know what I was saying. But yeah, you can feed them apples, but they he'll still eat it. Nope. I don't think my horses like wheat. You can yeah, you can you can stay like that. But um yeah, he'll keep eating apples as long as he's not tame. See, he's eating all my apples, he likes them a lot. Um he's eating nearly all of my apples. He better be tame. There we go. See, I think the more apples you feed them, the easier it is to tame. Um, I found that as well. Bred horses that are bred are um, e they they lie they're easier to tame. Um, not sure whether that's just a chance or whether it's a ratio or I'm not really sure. But okay, the last thing I'm going to do, I'm afraid, I decided I am very angry and I am going to kill a horse. Um, this is the last thing in the horses bit. There is a few more things. Um, when you kill a horse, let's turn the volume up because there's also new sounds which I'll show you. <coughs> when he, he will drop, I think it's one to three leather. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, he will drop leather. And when you ride a horse, they will make different noises. Where's my horse? Non-tethered one. Ah, did you hear that noise? The ah noise. Right, that's the new sound for the villagers. It's, hor it's horrid. I You're a witness. I just, I don't like it. It's weird. Makes them seem even more like Squidwards. And I just don't like it. But, right. Okay. Um, another thing before I continue. the There's a new thing called resource packs. Which are very much... Oh shit, very much like um, texture packs. But the, you can... Um, I think I just destroyed some wheat. Um, they're very much like texture packs. But you can change the sounds as well. Um, this means that some of the texture packs, which you, if you create a texture pack like I have, then they will remain like obsolete. You have to, to you have to change the like. You have to use this program and change it. Um, obviously, this means that it's going to be a bit harder to create some textures. And obviously, you've got the new blocks. And I've just finished mine, so it's not a great thing. But um. But yeah, the last thing uh, that I can remember... Oh, no, 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 I've got two more things. Right, there's the new thing with weapons. Um, they say, like, plus seven damage. That's the diamond sword. And other ones say plus four damage or something. So you can tell how much damage a weapon is going to do. Even if it's a tool, for example. It would a iron, a stone axe which is four, plus, uh, plus four damage, is the same as a wooden sword, which is plus four. So it tells you how much it would be plus, etc, etc, yeah? Okay? Um, yeah, I think that's pretty useful. I probably wouldn't use it myself, but I just want to use my weapons. But still, I think it's quite useful. The last thing is um, the name tag. Aww. There's a lot of things added that you can only get in um, a dungeon. There's there's a lot like the saddle. Obviously now is more used for saddles, not just on a pig. I know lots of people think pigs are really slow, but these are really fast. Um, the horse, horses can be extremely fast. And um, but yes, um, you need more needs for saddles, and then you find armor in dungeons as well, as well as name tags. Name tags basically, you know, in creator mode you can name spawn eggs using um, anvils. Well, name tags are basically that. It's a way of naming your pets in. You know, it's a way of naming your pets in survival mode. So 
you, these, as I was saying, this is a name tag, and I don't think it's ever enchanted. I'm not sure, but two, well, not enchanted, anvil. Right, um, let's call him Pony, for lack of a better name. It normally is five. And now, and uh, I think it's one use. See, now he's called Pony. Hello, Pony. My very fetching horse. Um, yes, so that's, so now he's called Pony, and you can do this with any animal, I think. Just like you would be able to do with, I think you could probably do it with mobs, like hostile mobs, although I don't really see the point of that if they, you're just going to kill them later on, unless you really want a pet creeper. Like I said, you could lasso it and keep it there. Um... Um, but yeah, I think that, that, I think that's it for the update. Um, if there's anything else, I'll add a bit more later on. I don't think there is, though. Ah, uh, fuck, bag. I don't think there is anything else. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the, this, uh, these, uh, these horses aren't spawned naturally, because I spawn them because, see, I've, got, I've left one here. That's my horse. Um, but yeah, there's tons of different skins and all the horses. So the horses is the big part of this update, although lots of people, I don't know, I quite like it because I've never been able to have a mod on my Minecraft and having horses is something that I've always wanted to do. Now they should just add turtles, because that's awesome. Whee. So yeah, I really like this update and hope this provides enough information. Um see I do my other series. Is. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed and ho enjoy the update when it comes out. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hello. This is Duty Free Freight, and this is the new launcher for Minecraft. Um, you, when you press play, it actually doesn't like automatically turn off at the moment. It should do by the new update, apparently. It said briefly somewhere. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, this is a new one. It's kind of flashy, but um, you can. Yeah, it just says it didn't know. I didn't tell me to log on, but I'm not sure. I think you can press log out and stuff. But okay, so that's that's the end of it.